This condenser mic cost me less than $24 on eBay. We're going to see if it's any good. I've mentioned a few times here recently on my channel and for some reason I am fascinated with different microphones recently and you know really really even I don't know why but uh, regardless uh, this thing is a I paid twenty four dollars for this on eBay shipping and everything included and for twenty four dollars I got not only the mic uh, this mic is called a Neewer uh, which is a company that makes a lot of uh, inexpensive, uh, you know, photo and video uh, accessories. And really, I think this was made in mind for being like a broadcast microphone of some kind. Um, but regardless, I paid $24 for this thing. And that $24 got me the microphone, the shock mount, this little doohickey arm thing, uh, again... Again, a broadcast mic is what this thing supposed to be uh, is supposed to be used for. So this is actually a desk mount that you would mount onto the desk. And unfortunately, I think my the top of my table is going to be too wide. And even if it's not, there's no way that this thing is going to reach me from where I sit from all the way over there. So that thing will probably go back up on eBay pretty soon. See if I can recoup some of my money. An uh, inexpensive uh, pop filter with a gooseneck. Another inexpensive uh, mic clip. Those are always handy to have an extra few of those laying around. Female quarter, uh, female XLR to an eighth inch cable. Uh, quality of the cable actually feels halfway decent. Windscreen for the microphone. And uh, last but not least, a uh, USB adapter of some kind. So definitely a package for like, a pod, like a podcast slash broadcast package for somebody that would broadcast from their computer desk but i bought it because i've seen a few other uh people on youtube namely uh shane from in the blues actually did a demo uh with this mic because i think he bought his used on ebay for like two bucks uh and the recording they did with it was a short recording but it sounded pretty good so so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna compare this thing. I'm gonna put it on the on the uh, the Panama cab, and uh, we're gonna compare it. Just uh, you know, uh, see how it sounds. Really, the condenser mic that's on there right now is an MX uh, MXL 990XL, which is just a oversized diaphragm uh, MXL 990. Beyond that, I think everything else in the inside of it is the same. Just the diaphragm's a little bit bigger. So we're gonna use that one as you know as a uh, control if you will and uh, again see how it sounds but first first I am going to see let's test out and see how this thing sounds uh, just for dialogue first just for kicks uh, it's whoa <laughs> it is definitely a lot more it's definitely a lot more sensitive and uh, I, I can hear myself you know the the mic is actually about the same distance away from me that my trusty AT2020 was. Um, I can hear myself actually coming out of my studio monitors as I talk, and with this with my AT2020 at this distance, I'm not able to do that. So uh, it's definitely a lot more sensitive, and I realize this probably might not be a real fair test because I'm holding it as opposed to mounting it on the mic stand. Um, even holding it out here, I can still hear myself coming out of the monitors a little bit. So it's definitely a lot more sensitive. The other thing that I notice is it seems to pick up from all directions. Test, test. Test, test. Okay, maybe not. Maybe this. Okay, so this must be the front. Uh, this thing's not labeled at all. There's not so much as a brand name on it. What I'm going to do is now we're going to put it on the guitar cab. And if I like my ultimate goal with this is if I like it well enough, 
for dialogue. I'm going to start using it for dialogue, and then that way I can hopefully get back my trusty AT2020 and start using that for guitar again. But if not, then uh, this thing will go into the uh, graveyard on eBay, and <laughs> uh, or maybe not even on eBay. I don't know if anybody's going to want it, but uh, you know, we'll see. So let's put it on the guitar cab and see how it sounds. I had to turn the level down on the amp a little bit because even with the level all the way down, uh, the input level all the way down, my first impression, or not my first impression, no, it was still spiking. So uh, it is insanely sensitive. So the only way I could get, you know, get it to stop clipping was to turn the level down on the amplifier. So uh, again, just as a comparison, this is a sample of the MXL 990. I have both mics positioned uh, about the same position, uh, you know, about the same distance off the center of the cone, right there between the cone and the uh, dust cap of the speaker. So let's start with the 990. This is the Neewer BM, uh, what is it, BM800, I think is the model number. $24 versus, well, the MXL, I think, is about 150 bucks or so. <laughs> So there we have it. I have uh, no idea what to expect as I have not yet heard back the recording. So I am going to go work on that and uh, let me know your thoughts. The me in the meantime, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to post a card up here in the video with a survey in it. And you guys can tell me what you think needs to become of this handy dandy $24 
Neewer BM800 condenser microphone. So, uh, does it need, you know, should I keep it and use it for some things? Uh, should I uh, put it back up on eBay and try to recoup some of my money? Uh, or should I toss it in a bonfire somewhere? I don't know. Or maybe I'll hang on to it for a little while and, uh, you know, see if it does prove, prove useful. Or maybe we could end up doing another giveaway with it at some point. Uh, maybe one of you fine folks, if it turns out to be halfway decent, maybe one of you fine folks can wind up with it. So, uh, in the meantime, speaking of giveaways, uh, please do not forget to submit your answers. Uh, if you have seen the last couple of videos on my channel, we are rapidly nearing 10,000, uh, 10,000, I wish we were nearing $10,000. Uh, we're rapidly nearing 10,000 subscribers. Uh, and in celebration of such, my partners at Pickers Grip have volunteered to sponsor a giveaway for you fine folks. So, all you need to do is submit your answers to the question. If you could have any piece of gear on the planet, guitar gear that is, any piece of gear on the planet, uh, and money were no object, what would it be? But, the caveat, I'm looking for the most creative answer that you find people can muster. And after we reach the 10,000 subscriber mark, I will select a winner, and the winner of said giveaway is going to receive a free container of Pickers Grip, uh, a free Pickers Grip t-shirt, some guitar picks to use with said uh, Pickers Grip, and uh, last but not least, and most importantly, uh, he is also going to give you fine folks, uh, or give one of you fine folks, a free $50 Amazon gift card. So... Pretty cool stuff, right? You know, all for uh, being creative about what kind of, what kind of gear you want. So you guys think about that. You guys think about this mic. I'm gonna go listen to this recording. Uh, meanwhile, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Plus the little bell icon right next to it. That's gonna make sure that you receive alerts and don't miss out on future content on this channel. Uh, description, of all the links of everything, including the links to uh, Pickers Grip and uh, their website and where you can buy their product, uh, as well as the link to the demo video that I did a while back. Uh, all that stuff will be down in the description, as well as my various methods of contact. Uh, and uh, leave me a comment down below. Last but not least, don't forget to check out my Teespring shop. Once we cross over that 10,000 subscriber mark, I'll be able to post uh, my Teespring merch right there below you, right there below me, rather, right there below the video, and uh, I won't have to talk about it so much anymore. Maybe you guys will just see it and, you know, think one of those t-shirts is funny or stupid enough that you might just go and buy one, and that'd be pretty cool, too. Because the money from the, that uh, is generated from those proceeds goes right back into supporting this channel so that I can continue to demo gear and bring you guys more content. That's all for now. Have a great weekend. I'm going to go listen to this, see how this mic sounds. We'll see you in the next video. You know what? There are tons of young people out there that want to get involved in music and do not have the means to do so. If you are watching this video, most likely you're a musician, and many experienced musicians have tons of broken and unwanted gear lying around that they're not doing anything with. Please visit my friends at Share the Music on Facebook at the link below and learn how you and your unwanted gear can help change somebody's life.